One of the toughest challenges we have in interpreting breast MRI is trying to decide if little foci of enhancement are benign parenchymal enhancement or are there anything of significance that we should consider. Now, background parenchymal enhancement or BPE is graded using the ACR MR BIRADS into four grades. Um, these are all subjective none, minimal, mild, moderate, and severe. And this is all relative to the amount of fibroglandular tissue, not the whole breast. And it can be asymmetric or symmetric. So just to give you some examples here, this patient here in the top left, I would probably say that they have um, fairly um, heterogeneously dense breasts, but they have virtually no background parenchymal enhancement. This patient here at the bottom, however, probably scattered fibroglandular density and, and they've got, you know, a, a fair number of little foci there. So that would be mild BPE. We have some examples here of a patient who has heterogeneously dense breast and moderate background parenchymal enhancement and a patient here who has, again, heterogeneously dense breast, in this case, severe background parenchymal enhancement. The MIP image is another great way of looking at the amount, and these are all subtraction images, obviously, the amount of BPE. And just to show you some examples here of the four different grades. Here's a patient who has asymmetric BPE. The others all had pretty symmetric BPE. And in this case, it was because in their left breast here, um, they had had prior radiation treatment and their premenopausal, so that breast was not enhancing. Now, just to remind you what a focus is as opposed to BPE. So a focus is a little tiny dot of enhancement that you can't clearly define as other, another lesion. So it's not non-mass enhancement, it's not a mass, you can't describe borders or anything like that. And all you can describe is its size and its contrast kinetic activity. So this is kind of the way I distinguish between them. I like to kind of think of a, a nebula here. Um, so a nebula is this sort of non-mass enhancement. We've got a planet here that's a mass. And these little stars in the background are either BPE or they're perhaps foci of enhancement when they become more distinct like this one. So here's a patient who has relatively low BPE, just a few things, these are vessels, and they have down here this one focus of enhancement. So, BPE or not BPE? Look for the focus that is different, and it's different on the basis of its size, something about its shape is different, the kinetics, use the MIP images that can be very helpful, use the cine mode, going through multiple slices to really get a feel of the lay of the land, correlate it with T2 signal, high T2 signal in a focus I'm probably gonna call benign, and obviously look at priors. So I, when I teach my residents, this is what I say, I say you're looking for the black sheep amongst the flock, the one that stands out. So this is a patient who has, uh, those are lymph nodes that we can see down there in the uh, bottom right, um, and they've, they've got probably moderate BP, but there's no black sheep. All these foci look exactly the same. This MIP of this patient, however, and actually this is the same patient, but this is just um, both breasts being shown here on the MIP, is different. In this patient, as I said before, those are just nodes. Um, that actually ended up being a metastatic node. In this patient here that was a high-risk screening MRI, there's no black sheep on the left, but there is this black sheep on the right, and that did end up being an invasive ductal carcinoma. Here's another patient who has somewhat asymmetric BPE, but again, there's no black sheep here. They all look very similar. These are overlying vessels, so don't get worried about that. This is a cine through the right breast and just a single image of the right breast. Patient who has you know, at least moderate, if not severe, um, BPE. And you can see here that there is one focus that really stands out. Um, and that is this one here on the static image. And that again did it turn up to be an invasive ductal carcinoma. So again, that's the black sheep in the family. 
are there any black sheep here? Well, I look at this MIP image, and this is somebody who really has, you know, pretty much zero BPE. Apart from here in the right breast, you're seeing this little um, area here that would concern me. So obviously you go in to interrogate it further. And we were lucky in this patient because she had multiple prior breast MRIs. And you can see that, well, this really does stand down. If that had been her first um, breast MRI, I was certainly paid attention to it. I would probably have ended up biopsying it. Um, it's been stable since 2019, in fact, earlier than that. So we're going to ignore it. What about T2 correlate? So as I said before, a T2 correlate um, is very reassuring. So this patient who's got this little, you know, you could wonder, do they have non-mass enhancement um, going on down here? Or you can see they have, you know, fairly extensive um, BPE. Here's the T2 image on the right, and they have very intense T2 signal on that, so I'm going to ignore it. What about suspicious kinetics? Well, to be honest, I find that kinetics are probably not all that helpful with little tiny foci, and they may not infrequently end up being washout kinetics and they end up being nothing. Well, tiny papillomas also tend to present like that. So this is um, one patient's left breast. Um, she was actually a staging examination. She's got some stuff going on in her other breast. But what we see going on here is that, you know, she's got quite a few little foci of um, benign or intermediate kinetics, plateau type kinetics here in the cine image. But you'll see when we're going through and then in the static image on the right, that there is one little focus here where things really seem to just stand out. Um, and uh, that was highlighted by the interpreting radiologist. Um, she came for second look ultrasound. Nothing was found of these. Um, it was followed and nothing changed over the next two years. So that was presumably something benign. And I finally just want to talk a little bit about picture framing. And this is a type of um, BPE where the patients often have moderate or um, marked background parenchyma enhancement. And it's usually in young patients who have heterogeneously dense or extremely dense breasts. And what this process is, is the contrast comes into the breast. It's also sometimes called inflow kinetics from the outside of this big mass of fibroglandular tissue to the center. So if you look at the first um, sequence or two following contrast, you're going to see that rim of enhancement. And when you take an axial image on that rim of enhancement along here, it's going to look like linear non-mass enhancement, right? Because that contrast is coming in from the outside in, and if you're taking a, a one axial slice through it, it's going to look like linear. Only it's gonna look like linear on a lot too many slices. And what I like to do is I go across to the sagittal, and if you just watch the sagittal when it goes from the outside in here, I'll take the um, markings off and get it to flow again in just a moment you'll see that there's a sheet of enhancement. So if you're cutting down here, let's get rid of that a minute. If you're cutting down here, you're gonna have a sheet of enhancement, not a line. If the patient had linear non-mass enhancement, it would appear as a line on the sagittal images. So sagittal images are really helpful for this. Just let you look through that for a minute. You'll see here, so we're starting outside in, big sheet of enhancement that picture framing and then as we go towards the center we're not seeing that enhancement and if you look on later sequences that'll be gone i like to use an orange as an analogy for this if you take a sort of an axial image a slice through the orange here you can think about the rind as being that rim of enhancement but if you cut the orange the other way you can see it's not an area of linear enhancement it's actually a sheet of it hope that helps